Hi, this is Tim Gillespie. I'm uh, putting up another reciprocal roof frame video. Um, I've been sort of struggling with the whole idea of how to clad these things in. And one of my past videos, the last one I did on my sugar house thing, uh, I had put like a conventional roof frame over the top of the reciprocal frame, which is a little bit redundant and extra framing that would be nice not to have to do. And it would also be nice to accentuate accentuate the uh, reciprocal frame both on the inside and the outside and I got a response to that video someone who's actually doing a six-sided shed and wanted to um, see the reciprocal frame on the outside and the inside and also be able to insulate it with R13 insulation so I fiddled around with the whole thing uh, and explored this a little bit further and I and I'll show you what I came up with and whether or not it's the best idea I don't know but I'll show you what I did so starting with a hexagonal base pretty straightforward and put some uh, reciprocal roof rafters on it these are four by I'm not even sure what they are anymore I had to adjust them a little bit they're four by almost ten um, and at the center you get a six-sided hole obviously and I trimmed these to come flush on the sides of the, the rafters they mate with and I did a little uh, flat top thing to enable us to to do something with a, a structure on top of it um, so anyways we start with that and then trying to figure out how to close in this space because you've got this odd arrangement of rafters and it doesn't lend itself really easily to to putting a, a skin on it and making it weather tight. I'm going to get rid of the base so we can look at this thing all around. The first thing I thought of was a skin that would lie on top of one of these rafters and go sort of on that plane and intersect with this one at an angle. So I put some cleats on these things and here's a cleat that just follows that side of that rafter and I projected that plane across to the other side and you get this triangular shape um, and then you put sheathing on top of that and you can see that you get a reflection of the reciprocal frame on the outside and you have these little ledges that come down and obviously if you if you have enough room to put these cleats in here and get your skin on there you give yourself some space up in here not a lot for insulating and finishing off the inside and still being able to see the reciprocal frame um, in this case I think I've given about two inches of cleat and with two inches of um, closed cell foam you get 13 R value uh, so you could do that you could make your rafters a little deeper to give yourself a little more room or finishing off the inside you could put some cross framing in here but I'm just exploring the basic principle of how to make this happen um, and so once you've got this sorta of like that you can build a closure on the top and the last time I had these wedges and stuff in here you don't even need to put a flat top on here the way I've done this is I've created a little cupola thing that basically embraces the extension of the rafters on the top and down at the bottom you can see it makes a full closure to that space so you've got full closure you can have ventilation windows or real windows on the top and you can put a little cap on that and you have yourself a, a cupola type thing with or without without the, the glass in it but the glass was cool because if you're looking from underneath you can get some light coming down and make a pretty interesting look to it and then you got to deal with the weatherproofing of this whole thing and I put some basically more roof flashing on top and you could make this all weather tight with flashing here and get that all closed in you could have more flashings up underneath the cupola structure so that you would be completely sealed from the weather you can create some fascia structure under here and then inside you do whatever finishes you want but that's the basic deal on how I imagine you could make a reciprocal roof frame that reflects its structure both on the outside and the inside and enables you to do some insulating on the inside and close it off. Obviously you need to do a little more framing to add under here, straps if anything else, if nothing else, just to build that up. 
and maybe you got to make your rafters a little deeper because of how you lose something in that but that is my basic offering for today and there's what it looks like when it's all done thank you very much